It is November 23rd, whatever. Frickin' cold. Little fire going. Pretty soon, we are going to cook up some nonsense. It's pretty cold, 20 mile an hour winds. That's all right. Okay, before I start cooking up, I thought I'd demo the portable buddy heater. Uh, it's about quarter to seven. I don't know if you can catch that, but it is about 34 degrees inside the camper. Just a second. And about 24 degrees outside. A little wind, some wet rain, and snow. Okay, it's about quarter to seven. Let's crank it up. They uh, have a pilot action, so you're supposed to hold that down for about 20, 30 seconds, I think the book says. So bear with me. And then turn it on high all the way up you'll get a fairly intense blue flame for a while the plate in the back will slowly turn orange to a bright orange once that's a really hot steady orange you can leave it on high if you want that's about oh eight nine thousand BTU I turn it down on the low setting, which is more like 4,000 BTUs. Okay, low setting. Well, it's actually more like 10 to 7. We'll check back shortly. Okay, it's about 20 after 7. Chow's up. Ah, ah yeah. I got about... 46, 48 degrees, and I've had the door open a couple of times to uh, tend the fire. We'll check back shortly. All right, check this out. Some green beans and small red potatoes cooked up with uh, a little bit of butter and garlic sauce. Some venison strips. Well, beef strips work good too, but remember when you're cooking with venison, that cooks really fast, so uh, you cook up the vegetables a little bit first, and then you toss in a little bit of Memphis seasoning. It's a uh, all-around freaking plate of awesomeness. Alrighty then, it's about uh, an hour or so later. Compared to about 20 degrees outside, it's a nice comfortable 56 degrees or so inside. I can dig that. These things are safe to use inside in your camper, in your cabin, or whatnot. They've got some safety features like a O2 sensor, a bump sensor, They'll take a one pound tank that only lasts about oh six seven hours. A line adapter with a filter for a 20 pound tank that might last maybe three and a half, four days. You still have to ventilate. You crack a window here. You crack a window there. A little bit of overhead ventilation and you're good to go. It avoids a lot of moisture build up or whatnot. These are good little heaters. I like them. Happy camping.